Hey guys, welcome back to my Planet Zoo Speed Build. Today, we'll be building an enclosure for the Prozalski horse. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so starting off, I did forget to press record when I'm um, doing the terrain editing. But we have the rest of it to go through. Um, also, the can... What is it? The conserve... Conservation pack. That's out. Well, obviously, because I'm doing the Brazalki horse, but I was so excited, especially for like the new um, sniffing behaviors that's around. I would thought that it was so cute. But yes, I made this. I I filmed this like the day after the DLC came out for me because in Australia. Um, the, the DLC comes out at like, I think it cut like 12 a.m. or something. Like it's, it's really late. <laughs> so when it came out, I was a little bit tired, but I was very, very excited. I've never heard of the horse before, but I knew as soon as it comes out, first thing I was going to be yielding an enclosure for. But yes, we are doing the fence line. I tried to make the terrain sort of like flat and kind of slopey. I was originally thinking of making it like steps. Um, so like completely flat, going around. Uh, so it's more because um, I searched up where the Przelski horse lives in Mongolia and it's on the Mongolian steps. So I was thinking about that, and then I also looked at this massive mountain range I thought, or I have, and went, you know what, I'm gonna do something. I never do. First one is, um, using the guest transports, because they confuse me. I'm really bad at, um, planning layouts for my zoos. So I never put in the guest transports. So I thought I'm gonna have a guest transport. You know what? I'm gonna do something fancy. I'm gonna have like a little way that they can walk up. And then I was thinking, I didn't think about it yet at this stage, but um, as you can see later on in the video, I have one of the new, I think it's the conservation restaurants, which can I sidetrack? I really like the grass roofs uh, and, and the buildings that came from this pack. I really like them. My only complaint is that for the single shell, we don't have a flipped one with it. I know someone's probably going to come out and make a, flip, a, a flipped one so we can have like two on different side uh you'll s uh, i trying to figure out how to explain it but yeah I, I understand someone's going to make that custom content Oops, sorry but i really wanted to do something cool with that anyway doesn't matter what was i going on about <laughs> uh yeah so i get a restaurant and i was thinking maybe i can have like the restaurant looking over the in this enclosure you know do something nice do something fancy do something special but right now it's just rounding the edges for this habitat because even though it, it doesn't look that big and I think it's just because of how it's sort of laid down. It's not flat, it has a slope. Oops, sorry. I'm getting a cold. I've been getting cold for the last week. <laughs> but yeah. I was I again I'm super I was super excited for this DLC. Just any Planet D Planet Zoo DLC comes out and I'm like mm, yes. So yeah, as you can see, I did a little decoration here. I am going to try something new at like the end recording bit. You'll see that. 
you will see that. But yeah, here I go, the gondola, because I'm thinking mm, they can travel and get it a bit there, get it up to there, then they can have transport, they can look all around this mountain, it'll all have like animals that I think will do well. If anything, I probably should have put the alpine ibex on this, but I didn't think about that. Anyway, doesn't matter. So yeah, I was just trying to figure it out, and then I looked at that restaurant, which is from the conservation pack. I love it, looks really nice. I should have done a pre-made restaurant for the restaurant I have earlier in the zoo. And I'm like, mm, yes, I'm going to move this up here with the horse. And I don't know if guests can actually see, um... Yeah, it takes me a little bit because I'm thinking, ah, oh, I put it here. And then I kind of look at it and I go, wait a second. I don't know if guests can um, see things when they're in the restaurant, but you know, horse restaurant. It pops off. Looks really nice. Well, I think it does. So yeah, just fixing up the sides again. Oh, I'm so sorry. going around I'm trying to make it not as big because I think for the 10 they need they only need about a thousand meters squared yeah so a quick cut I did the uh, gondola I didn't want to show that because that took a really long time and it is an imperative to the enclosure design however if you guys would like to see me do that sort of thing in the future leave a comment below but it's onto plants um i did get the horses they're on their way they're coming um i just wanted to sort of smooth out the terrain i i looked at um the steps and how they had rivers and there was a picture where uh the river was like fully cut into the earth so I'm thinking I could do something like that yeah I wasn't actually I tried it didn't look right as you can see I looked at it no it didn't look right it didn't look nice so I just kind of do a pond no, it's simple I, I this enclosure is fairly simple which I really enjoyed I like doing a more simple enclosure after doing something really big. So like in the last alf al episode, it was the Alpine Apex. That was more complicated. So I did this to sort of like balance myself out. And I will also, I'm just really excited for the horse. I never heard of the Pozowski horse before, but I was very excited because horse. So yeah, just filling their, um, I always forget what it's called, hard shelter, that's what they call it, with hay, because, you know, the horses, horses have hay. <laughs> and then I move them in. This is a little before it happens, but I really like when they were, when decorating. Um, I don't know if it was part of the DLC or... I believe there was free foliage added. I can't quite remember. Don't quote me on it. Um, like there's little uh, flower patches. I do really like those. Um, but I was so confused by their enrichment. Like they have keyboard, horseplay, keyboard, <laughs> musical horse. I, I looked at that and I'm like, oh my God. We must have musical horse. Uh, sadly, they didn't play with it while I was recording. Um, I do hope to see it if I get a clip of the horse with the musical thing. I will figure out a way to post it. I don't know if I do like a YouTube short or I don't know, put it on TikTok or something. I'm not sure. I'm not good at this stuff. But yeah, so just train painting. Uh, I wanted to get rid of a lot, a lot of the tall grass, cause I don't know. I just it looks so plain and bare, and the horse goes new. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's not the most terrain painted, but I think it looks rather natural. I like it. So yeah, now we're on to putting the foliage down. 
um, I looked at the Mongolian steps again. They are fairly bare from the few images I looked at, so I wanted like small bushy things around. Uh, I thought about tree. No, they have the tamarind scratching tree. That's it. I think. Yeah, I think that's the only tree I end up putting in. So yeah, I put some foliage around the food because I really like putting plants around the food dish. I don't know why. I just think it makes it look nicer. But yeah, I looked at these like grass flowers and I'm like, mmm, I love these. Because they, for this enclosure, seem like such a great way to add plant life without adding like so many bushes and so many shrubs. So most of the plants in this are from those flowers. Just moving in a little bit closer. Putting shrubs around, hiding that melon, putting more plants around. See, some of those have probably always been then been in there, but I don't remember having four of them. I could be wrong. Because again, most of the animals I build enclosures for are cats, so they could just not been in any of the animals that I've built something for in the past. So yeah. But I do I really use these um plant boy. Oh, sorry. Think about the small tree? I go nah. Look around more bushes? I'm like no. We are going back to the flowers. I, I really use the I think they're oxidized daisies. But yeah, they just break up the grass. It looks really, really, really nice. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of it. That's the enclosure. It's done. <laughs> Since I did a bit of um, work out here, I thought I'd just sort of um, try something different when I show the horses and stuff. So outside the area, when we're going towards the area where you can get on the gondola to go to the horse, I added a newt. I was looking for the newt. Uh, as you can see, there is no newt. Um, I know the newt isn't new, it was in the last DLC that came out before the conservation pack, but I like trying to put my enclosure creatures sort of in pairs at least. I do. Also, I love this um, uh, enclosure shell, that's the word. I love it. I think it looks really nice. There are two newts in here, I don't know where they are. I spent so long looking for it, I'm like, you know what, meh, we'll just move on next. It's like, are, are you on land? Can you? Yeah, nudes can go on land. It could have could have been somewhere up there. I just, first time I saw the nude was in the water, and now it's gone. So, they're somewhere. They're having fun. They're living their best life. So, moving on, on to the next one, where there is the new creature. This is empty. I didn't know what to put it in. I think... I don't know, I'll figure it out. But in here, we have the axolotl. The proper axolotl. I like axolotls. I want an axolotl in real life. I'll probably get one eventually. I was looking for it and then I see it. I spot it. I'm like, mm, it's right there. How do I get the camera to show the axolotl? Ah. <laughs> yeah, there's the axolotl. He's just chilling. I think there's two in here too. I like giving them friends because it's such a big space and it's like there's only one but I can't find the other one he's hiding exhibit creatures are so hard to find <laughs> they're so small and the exhibit's so big but yeah that's it it also that I'm pretty sure that that's a new exhibit design isn't it anyway so you can either you get on the gondola up there you wait on the line I forgot to put two going around so the line might sit for a little bit um, and then you can follow this path it's a nice path you go up here go up the stairs I'm still trying to figure out this camera angle I don't know if I like showing myself like this I kind of do um, so the guests can look in here and see the horses I think it's nice because you get like a nice side on view and it continues going up the, up the slope and then you have the entrance to the restaurant where you can look over at the horses eating. Should be a good spelling point. <laughs> I just want to show off how you like get to the area. 
Now, close up with the horses. I found out uh, the eating animation. I know because they can't have it too close because I mean precise in gaming you do have to have um, shortcut limitation in the anima on the animations but I just thought that was really funny. But yeah. they, they look really nice. I like the horses. I like how nice they look. He does drink. I just, I just love it. I love it so much. It's a nice simple exhibit. They can attack a scarecrow, they can play the keyboard, they have flowers, which they, I'm assuming, can sniff and have sniff interactions. Sniff. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like the sniff interactions. The chorus, the chorus adding, it's cool and all, but sniff the flowers. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like how the horses look. I really like how the Brazowski horse looks. It's old horse. Actually, watching all these the first time, uh, it made me miss when I used to do horse riding when I was younger and my aunt would take me horse riding. I miss it. That was really fun. Um, especially because they look like the first horse I ever rode. Um, Melody. She looked very similar to this. Oh, well, she was fully brown, and I guess that is a typical horse color. And with that, that brings us to the end of our episode. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to see more of these speed builds, uh, leave a follow, uh, subscribe, not follow. I will be doing more games eventually, I swear. <laughs> I've just been obsessed with Planet Zoo. But yes, uh, I have a Twitter. Go follow me there. Um, I keep a lot of updates random about my life. If anything ever happens, I will, you know, put it there. Uh, and yeah, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!